Hi everyone, Caleb here with another Tech Tuesday video for you. Um, I know we've been previously doing videos over the G Suite, but we're going to take a break from that this week to focus on how to pull a report inside of Scientific Learning, which is the company that produces Fast Forward. Um, a lot of you may already know how to do this, but some of you don't, and I thought a good video um, introduction to how to pull at least one of these reports would be useful as we move forward. So without further ado, we're going to jump into it. Um, what you want to go to is mysilearn.com. So mysilearn.com, you can see I've typed it in to the address bar. Uh, select it. If you have an account as an instructor or campus manager, um, you'll type in your work email here, and then your password will be whatever scientific learning has already asked you to set your password as. If you haven't set a password or you've forgotten, you can always use the forgot password option, and they will email you a uh, a link for you to do. So we're going to get logged in. <clears throat> and this, I, I'm set up as a, a demo teacher at Austin Elementary. And this is real data we're going to look at today. So I've gone ahead and I've masked out um, names of students so that we don't have to, to worry about looking at them. Here's the dashboards, the, the home screen that you log into when you first get in. But we're not going to spend a whole lot of time in here. We're instead, we're going to go to results. And so when we click on results, this takes us to our reports for fast forward and you always want to be specific when you're looking at reports with which report you're looking at so we're looking at the implementation success and then also the date range and so for this date range I just want to look at last week so we've changed it to last week with the drop down menu here I have a graph that shows me um, information about my students so I'm gonna go ahead and select attendance participation completion rate and implementation and this is all the data for one week. And you can see here um, that my implementation is on target, which is great. I've got to check. I had an 86% completion rate, which we'll talk about just in a second. My attendance was 60%, and my participation was 100%. So what does this mean? Well, if you click on the little question mark icon, you can see what the averages mean. But for right now, what we're going to look at is me just describing it to you. Completion rate is how much your students completed based on what the program set their goal at. So if the goal was 10% and the student completed 9% uh, during the week, they would have a 90% completion rate. If the goal was 10% and the student completed 5%, they would have a 50% completion rate. Completion rate is the only one that can go above 100% because let's say their goal was 10% and they completed 20%, they would have a 200% completion rate. Attendance is simply how often are they logging in um, based on what the protocol is. For most of you, your protocol was probably set at five days. Some of you, it's three days. If the protocol is set for five days and your student only logs in three out of those five days, they'll have a 60% attendance, which it seems to be three out of the five days um, for these students where they logged in. Participation is are they actually completing the, the full amount of time when they log in? Are they completing the, the task set for them? So really great participation, pretty good completion rate, and an attendance rate that could be worked on. You see here you've got all of your different students and again this is real data so we're not going to um, show the students names they are masked but you can see here here's their completion rate for the week and so this student 200 percent so great job to that student you'd want to give them kudos you want to give them uh, you know pat on the back say great job maybe a reward of some sort um, there are lots of reports there are definitely reports you can look at individually by students but I just wanted to show you guys a quick kind of uh, put your finger on the pulse of where your class is type of report that you can get that is the default report when you hit results on the results tab. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or Katie. Um, if you have fast forward or scientific learning specific questions, we're also really glad to help you or you also should have a campus person on, uh, on your campus who is an expert in it as well. Um, that being said, I hope you have a great rest of whatever day it is when you watch this video, and thank you very much.